Well, hello, we are going to be doing 3.7, comparing and ordering fractions today. So you might be asking yourself, why are we comparing and ordering fractions? Well, it happens to be one of those skills that helps us become better at reasoning and arguing our reasons and attending to precision or making sure that we do things pretty accurately. So we're going to start by looking at 3 eighths and 1 fifth. And what do I need to do to these two fractions so that I can actually compare them? I need to come up with a common denominator. So I know when I look at the number 8 and I look at the number 5, they have a multiple of 40 in common. So how do I go from 8 to 40 as my denominator? I need to multiply my 8 times 5, and I need to multiply my 3 times 5, since that's what I'm doing to the bottom. So I come up with a new and improved fraction of 15 fortieths, which is equivalent to 3 eighths. I just made an equivalent fraction. And then I'm going to take the fraction 1 fifth, and I'm also going to change that denominator to 40. So what do I do to the 5 to make it become 40? I'm going to multiply it times 8, which means I have to take my numerator times 8. So now I have a new and improved fraction of 8 fortieths. So now when I look at those two fractions, they have the same denominator, and I am able to compare them. And I understand now that 15 fortieths is greater than 8 fortieths. So what happens when I have these four fractions and they all have the same denominator of 9? Can I compare and put these in order? Why, yes, because it's pretty easy. They all have the same denominator. So the only thing that I need to look at, if I'm going from least to greatest, I'm going to look for the smallest numerator in this set of fractions, which is going to be 4. And so 4 ninths would be my smallest, then 5 ninths, 7 ninths, and then 10 ninths. So in this set of fractions, it's pretty simple because my denominator is the same. I only need to look at my numerators and I put them in order from smallest to greatest. So now we have the opposite example. This time I have all of my numerators are the same. So I have a two on the top of all of these fractions, but my denominators are different. So with all four of these fractions, I would get two parts. But if I'm going to go from smallest to largest, then that means I'm going to choose the largest denominator is going to be my smallest fraction because it has the most pieces and the pieces are going to be the smallest. And then my next one is going to be two ninths and then two fifths and then two thirds. So now I have ordered these fractions that had the same numerator, but we do the opposite of what we do when we have the same denominator. We're looking at the largest denominator is the smallest, and the smallest denominator is the largest. So that can get a little confusing and you're gonna have to be careful. So what will we do in class? Well, we're going to order sets of fractions with different numerators and different denominators like I just showed you. We're going to create common denominators or numerators, and we're going to be using benchmark fractions to help us with some of those. So thanks for watching. Can't wait to see ya.